The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Amos. Listen, Israelites, to this prophecy which Yahweh pronounces against you, against the whole family which I brought up from Egypt. You alone have I intimately known of all the families on earth. That is why I shall punish you for all your wrongdoings. Do two people travel together unless they have agreed to do so? Does the lion roar in the forest if it has no prey? Does the young lion growl in his lair if it has caught nothing? Does a bird fall on the ground in a net unless a trap has been set for it? Will the net spring up from the ground without catching something? Does the trumpet sound in the city without the people being alarmed? Does misfortune come to a city if Yahweh has not caused it? No, indeed. Lord Yahweh does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who is not afraid? Lord Yahweh has spoken, who will not prophesy? I overturned you as God overturned Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand snatched from the blaze, and still you would not come back to me, declares Yahweh. So this, Israel, is what I plan to do to you, because I am going to do this to you, Israel. Prepare to meet your God. And our response is taken from Psalm 5. You are not a God who takes pleasure in evil. No sinner can be your guest. Boasters cannot stand their ground under your gaze. You hate evildoers, liars you destroy. The violent and deceitful Yahweh detest. But so great is your faithful love. I may come into your house and before your holy temple bow down in reverence of you. In your saving justice, Yahweh, lead me because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way plain before me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then Jesus got into the boat followed by his disciples. Suddenly a storm broke over the lake so violent that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. So they went to him and woke him saying, Save us, Lord, we are lost. And he said to them, why are you so frightened? You have so little faith. And then he stood up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. They were astounded and said, Whatever kind of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Lord